wiping sweat off my brow. It's kind of <laughs> hot out there. Yeah, it was getting pretty toasty. Temperatures topped off in the 80s for most. You can see uh, Bluefield coming in at 81. However, some areas didn't even hit the 80s. Lewisburg coming in at 79 degrees. But taking a look at current temperatures, we have cooled off quite a bit. So Bluefield, West Virginia sitting at 74, Hinton 79. Most of us are in the 70s at this hour. Now we did have some wildfire smoke out there, some smoke above our heads. You can see this sticks around into the day Sunday. So we can see some moderate to heavy smoke in the area tomorrow afternoon. And then another round, some heavy moderate smoke comes again through Sunday evening. But then as we fast forward into Monday, it should clear out of our area and we'll have a much more clear day free of the haze and smoke above our heads. Taking a look out there right now, we have a little bit of green on the radar. These are some really light showers and they may not even be hitting the ground with how light they are. The rain may be evaporating in midair. So right now, most of us are dry, but you'll notice that increase in cloud cover and we'll continue to see an increase in cloud cover as this stalled front it's going to push closer to our area overnight tonight. That's when we start getting this widespread or the scattered showers and thunderstorms move into our area. You can see that continues into the morning hours tomorrow, but then this will push further east and we'll see drier conditions on the in tomorrow evening and night. Now, as we take a closer look at things, you can see a few scattered showers here and there, but most of us are dry with cloudy conditions. And as we head into the overnight hours, that's when we start seeing some more of these scattered showers and thunderstorms return to the area overnight. Those stick around and into the morning hours tomorrow. Here's a look at 6 a.m. You can see just a few scattered showers out there, temperatures in the 60s. But as we fast forward into the afternoon hours, you can see hit or miss shower is possible, but I expect most of us just be mostly cloudy but dry. That's when we head into the evening hours. We'll see some sunshine return to the area with temperatures in the 70s. Now, if you're taking a day out there tomorrow, we got some showers possible for the morning hours. Temperatures in the 60s. We warm up into the low 70s, but we dry out. That haze does stick around though through the day tomorrow, and we remain cooler than average. Temperatures 5 to 10 degrees below average may not even break into the 70s on Tuesday. Speaking of comfortable, we got dew points. Those will be really comfy throughout the week next week. So we'll be sitting really nice out there. Here's the rainfall outlook. You can see we have a low pressure system moving off the coast of the Carolinas. So for our area, we're just expecting less than an inch of rain. However, if this moves further north and west, we have to increase those rain chances into the week next week. So just to recap, temperatures in the low 60s tonight, increasing clouds, some showers are possible after midnight, but we dry up for Monday. Looks like a really nice day in the mid 70s. Those rain chances do return with that coastal low for the middle of the week. Christina.